All right, let's fire this thing up. Bert, last night I was on the dock and I was kind of taking a look at some of the boats and they have those beautiful underwater lights, a lot of them do, mm -hmm. anyway. And, and what do you think about maybe installing a set or, or maybe even four of them on this boat? Well, that'd be great for sword fishing. You know, due to conservation, swordfish have really come back here off the east coast of Florida. And man, I, I've never caught one, but I would love mm -hmm. to have that experience. Hey, well, good deal you made it. Hi, I'm John Graviscus. This is Bert Dell. It's great to have you back aboard the boat with us. What we're fishing off of is our 1980 57-foot custom sport fish. It's called the Monterey. And what we're going to be doing today here at Ship Shape TV is we're going to kind of cover all the different types of underwater lights. And, and what are some of those examples, Bert? There's metal halide, there's xenon, there's halogen, and there's LED lights. We want to kind of not only take you through the selection process, of these different types of lights, but how about if we actually install some of these different types of lights, whether they're pool hall type of lights or, or surface mounted type of lights. And then at the end of the program, let's do like a side by side by side comparison of what all these lights do, how bright they are, and how much everything costs, all right? But guess what, before we can get into any of this stuff, shoot, you know the drill by now, you see we need to work out a little trade off. We've got to get all of you to spend the next 30 minutes with us as we're working and kind of playing right here on the beautiful water's edge. And then in exchange with, again, the help of a few of my very knowledgeable friends in the marine industry, we're all gonna be pooling together in order to do our very best to let you in on a few more ways to make your boat ship shape. How do you think a swordfish would be during the day, Bert? Uh, probably 1,200 feet.